Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Gulfstream Park here on Saturday. It is February the 11th, 2017. We're going to look at the stakes races on today's program, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at HorseracingKid5 for more selections for racetracks across the world. The stakes races I'll be looking at are races 9, 10, and 11. So let's get on to it. I'm going to give you an all-stakes pick three wager. Race number nine is the 74th running of the Shawnee River Stakes. Grade three purse, $150,000. It's for Phillies mayors, four-year-olds, and upwards. We have a field of 10 horses traveling the distance of ground of one mile and one-eighth on the turf course. The rail will be set at, at 108 feet from its true position, so that is the outer portion of the turf course, so keep that in mind. Mile on the eighth. My top pick, and like I said, I'm going to give you an all-stakes pick three. I'm going to single the six-horse Sandiva in this one, owned by Al Shikab, trained by Todd Fletcher, written by um, Javier Castellano. I'm going to go 6915, though, in the Superfecta, but single in the pick three, number six, Sandiva. Javier Castellano, last time out on the 14th of January. Gulfstream Park, mile 16th in the Marsh uh, River Stakes. Horse won by half length that day, closing up to a very nice victory. Um, you know, it was all around great race for this horse, second off the layoff. Start before on the 17th of December at Gulfstream, seven and a half furlongs in the South Beach. Horse finished second by a neck. The horse needed the race that day, definitely. Um, you know, she was a little bit wide didn't really have the best of closing kicks so i think you know she definitely needed the race start before july 23rd saratoga mile eighth and diana horse finished ninth by eighth recorded lengths really weakened out of it against a little bit better horses that they just didn't do anything and then Goldstream Park will mile April the second in Honey Fox, Grade Two Honey Fox. Horse finished third by one and a half lengths behind Celestine. Um, you know, really, you know, was closing up that day, but how to, you know, a little bit traffic trouble that day. Um, you know, won this race. Um, you know, won this race in 2015 by length. You know, won the Marsha River last year. Um, you know, they tried this horse actually on the dirt exactly a year ago in the uh, Royal Delta Stakes. May she rest in peace. Um, you know, this horse finished second in her dirt debut and her only dirt stars. It wasn't a half bad race. Um, but I think in this spot, this horse will really run well. 5-2, you know, not the best prices, but I guess you have to take it. So to recap my bets, race number 9 from Goldstream, it's a Shawnee River Stakes. Going to go with the six-horse Sandiva. Going to include her into a Superfecta. Going to go 6-9-1-5, 6-9-1-5. So now let's get on to race number 10 from Gulfstream. The 10th race is, th is the 35th running of the Gulfstream Park Turf Handicap. Grade 1 purse, $350,000 for 4-year-olds and upwards. We have a field of 8 horses traveling the distance of ground of 1 mile and 1 eighth on the turf course. The rail will be set at 36 feet from its true position. So that is the inner portion of the turf course. Or as close as to, as close to the inside as they could get with the rail still a little bit out. Um, my top pick in this one, I'm going to go to the four horse Beach Patrol. I'm going to include this horse into uh, Superfecta. I'm going to go four six eight two four six eight two. Pick three scenario, I'm going to use the four and the six. I'm um, going to play dollar pick three most likely. But number four, Beach Patrol, top pick, five two. Florent Giroux on this Chad Brown train, four year old Colt at a lemon drop kid. Most recently, this horse had a third a start on the 3rd of December at Del Mar, mile and eighth in the grade one Hollywood Derby. This horse finished second by one and a half lengths that day. Really, you know, was a little bit, uh, you know, had a weird race. It was wide that day. Had the lead in the stretch, lost it. Um, you know, it, it was just a weird race. It was his first start in almost eight weeks so maybe he need the start i i don't know i just that was just a very weird race start before in hill prince another weird race uh here in new york at belmont mile on the eighth on october the eighth this horse finished second by a head you know stalked the pace got the lead in the stretch run got nailed at the wire by camelot kitten disappointing beat that day but um start before was probably the horse's best victory that came in the secretariat at, at arlington in the national race course mile and a quarter this horse won by head got the lead and just held on that day you know it was a great great victory um you know then finished third in the belmont derby here in new york finished sixth in the pen mile i think this horse should have a good start here today um so i'm going to use this horse here in the pick three along with the six horse diversadero so to recap my best bets now for race number 10 from Gulfstream park it's a 35th Gulfstream park turf handicap gonna go with the four horse beach patrol gonna go four six eight two four six eight two in the superfecta four six in the pick three or the pick four, whatever you want to play. Uh, but race number nine, uh, race number 11 now, the 11th race, it's a big one from Gulfstream Park. Um, it's the 77th running of the Gulfstream Park Handicap. Grade two, purse two, uh, $350,000. It's for four-year-olds and upwards. We have a field of nine horses traveling distance of ground of one mile 
And years ago, this race used to be always a mile and a quarter before they redid Gulfstream Park. I think in the two, in the year afterwards, they ran it at the mile and three sixteen stiffs distance when they renovated in 2005. But since about 2006, it's been run at a mile. Personally, I would, and, and it used to be run the first week of March. They moved it up to uh, this time of the year to the middle of February. I don't know why. I think, I think it would work a lot better in March and maybe put it back to a mile and a quarter or a mile three sixteenths at least. But, um, you know, it's a good race this year. And there's a horse I like in it, and that's the five horn Zulu. Uh, I'm going to go five, one, eight, seven, five, one, eight, seven in the, in the superfecta. I'll use five, one in the pick three. So that pick three, I, I believe it would cost you four dollars or five, something like that. I, I, I didn't do the, the math on it, but it's, uh, my math is shit by the way. So don't, don't, uh, you know, I, I think it might be four dollars, but I, I, I'm most likely wrong with that since I said my math is shit. Uh, but, uh, five, one in this race. Remember to recap the uh, pick three, it's going to go six with the four, six with the five, one, but number five in this race is Zulu. My top pick three to one Javier Castellano on his Todd Pletcher trained four year old Colt out of Bernardini making a second start off the layoff. Last time out December the 18th, Goldstream Park, 7 eighths of a mile on the tarmac stakes. Horse won by two and three quarter lengths, 50 cents to a dollar. Had a clear, clear, easy victory in that field of seven horses. You know, it was a great comeback race. Start before in the formerly grade one bluegrass stakes at Keeneland on the 8th, April the 9th. Horse finished 12th by 23 and a quarter lengths. This horse isn't a two-turn horse. I think this horse will be a better one-turn miler horse. Um, you know, he, he he just finished 12th that day as the favorite. Didn't do anything. Uh, beat two horses. Start before in the Fountain Youth, Goldstream Park, mile 16th, February the 27th. Horse finished second by two and a quarter lengths. You know, he lost to Mo Heyman. Um, you know, it was just a little bit wide and got bothered a little bit. It just two turns not his thing. Um, and then in, in his optional 75 victory at Goldstream Park on the slop seven francs, January the 15th. 15th this horse you know was a that was a very good race one by seven quarter lengths a lot of people i remember on tvg and twitter after that said oh this might be the derby winner well they were wrong but uh, you know it was a great victory for this horse um i think this horse will run a big one here today one turn mile he's uh second off the layoff i think this horse will run well you, also tommy macho another pletcher horse i think he, he's uh, always runs a good one maybe he could be an upsetter here but to recap my bets now for race number 11 from gulfstream park it's the gulfstream park handicap going to go with the five horse Zulu. Going to go five one eight seven five one eight seven in the Superfecta. And to recap the pick three wager, race number nine, I'm going to single the six horse. Race number ten, I'm going to go two deep with the four six. And race number eleven, I'm going to go five one five one. So good luck.